look. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Mark the Don with Make It or Break It 336. And today we're going to talk about three topics. We're going to jump right into it. Starting off with Reddy Ron, the man who allegedly was the reason that DMS got hooked on crack cocaine by lacing his blunt when he was 14 years old. Now, we all know how it is in the media, y'all. When you get up to a certain stature or if you're around and you're associated with it, a lot of times you're not going to get caught up in a lot of bullshit, even if it's not true. Now, I watched that little segment of the interview, and to me, Reddy Ron's body language, as well as his tone of voice, did kind of give off a very agitated vibe as if to say, you know, I really don't want to talk about this, but my back is against the wall, and it wasn't me. Crack is whack. And also, he did speak about being in rehab. He was himself addicted to crack cocaine. Uh, and that he wished that DMX had took the same route of sobriety, maybe a rehab. You know, DMX did have his, his little stint with that. Now, if there is somebody, anybody, that knows the real truth of this situation, and Reddy Ron isn't the person that did it, then they should speak up. However, Reddy Ron, I will say, brother, even if it wasn't you, you do got to be accountable for the fact that you was around at that time for anybody to even want to accuse you. Reddy Ron, it might have been you, it might not. But birds of a feather flock together and you apparently was guilty by association. And next up, we got Lil Snoop's mama and Lil Snoop's daddy going back and forth over Lil Snoop's headstone not being placed at his gravesite. Now, for anybody that doesn't know, Lil Snoop, uh, he was a young rapper. Uh, he used to be signed to Meek Mill's Dream Chasers label, but apparently he had got killed in a dice game. Uh, Jonesboro, Louisiana. Now, normally I would say, you know, what goes on between the baby mama and the baby daddy, that's their business. But since it's all out on air, Lil Snoop's father, uh, when he got out of prison recently, he actually made a video that went viral showing him visiting Lil Snoop, his son's gravesite. Lil Snoop's father proceeds to just go on this very emotion-filled rant about how he felt like a lot of rappers weren't really showing Lil Snoop love until he died, uh, in particular Meek Mill, since he was uh, signed to Dream Chasers. He went on to even accuse Lil Snoop's mother as the reason why he didn't have a headstone. And also even saying that she was a rat, being part of the reason that he was in prison. Now Lil Snoop mama clapped back. She said, nah, it wasn't none of that. She said, nah, we agreed to pay half when he got out. And she also said that, nah, I ain't no rat. Because first of all, right, I have to have some paperwork. But she said, I did call the prison. And the reason that she called the prison was because Lil Snoop's father was making threats against her behind bars. So she said she did exchange contact information, wanted to protect her peace. And I can understand that. And she even went to say that the whole reason that Lil Snoop's father was even doing it in the first place was he was trying to go viral. He was trying to get some little clout off his son's name. Now, I don't know whether that's true or not. However, if it is true, Snoop's Pops, bad idea. And last but not least, we got Lil Mosey, Mount Lake Terrace, Washington rapper. He didn't show up to court after allegations of him raping this girl. So, she agreed to have consensual sex with Lil Mosey, and they did, but she had been drinking during the day, and there was at some point where she blacked out that apparently Lil Mosey went in for sloppy seconds, and his homeboy went in for sloppy thirds. Now again, we do know how it is in the entertainment industry where you're going to get caught up in some scandals. But I got to say this as a disclaimer, y'all, and I got on my I Am Black History shirt, so I'm going to make this clear. As an entertainer, in particular a black male, you got to be careful with the bras you're sleeping with, man. And I do not endorse any form of non-consensual sex. A little mosey, if you did it, man, you got to own up to it. If not, man, get your lawyer's situation right, and it is what it is. But with these three topics, what do y'all think, man? Let us know who makes it and who breaks it in each situation. And as always, it's your boy Mark the Dunn. Make it or break it, 336.